breaking news at the top of this hour. Union Home Minister Amit Shah, who is in West Bengal right now, is likely to meet Abhaya's parents today. Remember, Abhaya's parents had penned a letter to Home Minister Amit Shah, and sources tell us that uh, Amit Shah is likely to meet the parents of Dr. Abhaya, who was brutally uh, raped and murdered. Viewers, remember, uh, I'm Home Minister Amit Shah is in West Bengal today for the membership drive of the BJP and he has kick-started that campaign today but at the same time he will be visiting the family of Abhaya. Remember this has been a months long campaign, several months have passed, weeks have passed uh, for this fight for justice. and. Uh, Abhaya's parents still are waiting for justice for their daughter. And uh, my colleague Ridhita is uh, joining us live on the broadcast from our Bangla newsroom. Well, uh, Ridhita, uh, this has been a nationwide campaign. Abhaya's parents are still waiting for justice. And uh, they have uh, in the past penned a letter to the Home Minister seeking justice, seeking a speedy investigation. And today, as the Home Minister is in Bengal, he will be visiting the parents of uh, Dr. Abhaya. Uh, tell us more updates that you are picking up on this. Absolutely, Rakshita. So, as we have seen, HM uh, Amit Shah has just landed to West, in West Bengal yesterday and he was staying in Newtown. So, on the birthday of Amit Shah, we have seen that Abhaya's father has written to Amit Shah expressing his concern about his daughter and the speedy investigation in the process of his daughter. He has said that he would like to come along with his wife to meet uh, Amit Shah when he comes down to Bengal during, uh, comes down to Bengal and know and discuss about their problems, uh, about the problem that is they are facing in the investigation process and the lack of time that is going in the investigation process of his daughter. So today, according to our sources, what we are getting to know that as Amitra comes back to Kolkata from the Petropole visit, which he is currently in, and we heard him from there just a few minutes back. So as he comes back, they are supposed to meet his parents in a five-star hotel probably where he was staying in Newtown, Kolkata or if the meet does not happen today then it, they might be called to Delhi. So that is what we are collecting at the moment that his her parents are called to a five-star hotel where probably would be staying um, in West Bengal today and the conversation has completely happened over the mail where his father was seen to mail Amit Shah on his birthday and Amit Shah has responded to her father stating that he he will be meeting them and discussing about their concerns and a speedy investigation and justice will be soon provided to his daughter. All right. Thanks Back so much, Ridhita, for joining us with those latest updates coming in from Kolkata viewers. Amit Shah all set to meet uh, Dr. Abhaya's parents. And uh, remember, uh, staying with the uh, visit of uh, Home Minister Amit Shah in West Bengal, we have another update that is uh, coming in. Now remember, uh, this time, once again, it is uh, the Home Minister who has uh, reacted, who has made a statement about illegal immigration and infiltration in West Bengal. He has spoken about uh, the infiltration and he has said that uh, we can eliminate illegal infiltration on, in India, Bangladesh border, if BJP is voted to power in 2026. That's the big update. He's talking about infiltration. Remember, there has been a demography debate. There has been uh, talks about the illegal migrants uh, from across the border into uh, West Bengal from Bangladesh. And Amit Shah has raked up this issue uh, in a public meeting. Take a listen in, viewers. Jab. कानूनी आवाजाही की व्यवस्था न हो तब आवाजाही अवैध रूप से होती है और जब अवैध रूप से आवाजाही के रास्ते खुलते हैं वो बंगाल की भारत की शांति को बहुत क्षति पहुंचाते हैं मैं आज बंगाल की जनता को कह कर जाता हूं 26 में परिवर्तन कर दीजिए इस घुसपैठ को हम पूर्णतया रोक कर दम लेने वाले हैं और शांति बंगाल में तभी हो सकती है जब एक घुसपैठ रुक जाए पार्टनरशिप भी इससे बढ़ेगी बांग्लादेश और भारत भूटान और भारत नेपाल और भारत म्यांमार और भारत ये सभी हमारे सीमा पर बसे हमारे देशों के साथ 
संस्कृति भाषा कल्चर ये सब का आदान प्रदान बढ़ेगा और एक प्रकार से नया पार्टनरशिप का युग शुरू होगा and Ritha continues to get us the latest from our Bangla newsroom. Now, uh, Ritha, uh, time and again, Amit Shah has been very uh, vocal and he has openly hit out at uh, this menace. He has spoken about the menace of uh, illegal migrants and the infiltrators coming in by the porous borders. And this is when he is going to inaugurate a, a, you know, a tunnel uh, on the, uh, at the Indo-Bangladesh border. It's a very important statement that is coming in as he speaks to the people that uh, BJP vows to eliminate infiltration, especially if it is voted to power in the upcoming assembly elections. Correct, Rakshita. So we just heard HM Amit Shah speaking from the Petropole and he's now heading towards the petropole Benepol border where he's going to inaugurate the cross-border gate. So now to understand geographically how strategic this movement or the statement from Amit Shah was in retrospect of the current India-Bangladesh problem that we are seeing. So basically the significance of Petropole lies as it is the largest land port in the South Asia which holds very vital gateways for trade and handling nearby 70% of the land-based trade between the two countries. And it also facilitates about a movement of 23.5 lakh passengers annually. Therefore, it also stands to be our eighth largest international immigration port in India. So this is uh, coming up, this statement from him comes up as a very strategic moment a very strategic move because this is going to not only strengthen the India-Bangladesh relationship but also stop the immigration problems that West Bengal continuously faces. So the integrated check post will be playing a very critical role in regulating the border movement, enhancing the security and also providing legitimate pathways for migration. Therefore, it will uh, reduce opportunities for illegal crossings. So therefore, um, we have heard Amit Shah stating that in 2026, BJP is to come to West Bengal and he's hoping for the best. And if they come, then the illegal immigration will be stopping. And he has also mentioned very clearly that half of West Bengal's problem will reduce and the state will become very, uh, will become terrorist free and also become calmer, quieter and crime free only when the illegal immigration from Bangladesh stops. Back to the studio. All right. Thanks so much, Ritha, for joining us with those details coming in on uh, the Home Minister's visit and the statement he has just made on, on his visit to West Bengal. We will